Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and I'm bringing you some very exciting news coverage from the Apple event that just took place in New York City. Now, they announced three very important things at this event and I followed it all happening on TheVerge.com so credit goes to them for covering the event and giving us some superb photos along the way. The first thing that Apple announced was a new app. It's available free of charge from the Mac App Store. It's called iBooks Author. Stay tuned to this video and I will be bringing you a very early look at this application in action. The next thing they announced was textbooks. New place to purchase these books with a whole host of publishers on board already. High school textbooks at $14.99 or less. The books are always up to date. One click purchasing and students obviously get their own copy of the book. Some great features in these books as well. Pearson McGraw Hill and Houghton Mifflin Harcourt already on board. And the last thing that they announced, if I scroll all the way up to the top here, they also announced iTunes U, a dedicated app to uh, courses that can be either downloaded or streamed to your iPad. So let's get rid of this browser and show you iBooks author in action. Now this is the interface, this front window here that you are presented with when you first launch the application. You can obviously open an existing uh, document or an existing file or you can in fact choose one of these templates. Now for this demonstration I'm going to choose the astronomy template and you click on choose and you're presented with the main window. What you've got to remember this is actually perfectly formatted for the iPad. So you're presented with a book title just here, introduction media so you can drag a movie or image in there as well, a table of contents which it should hopefully populate itself and also a glossary. Now let's concentrate on this book title first of all. Now I've got a window just hiding behind here with a screenshot of one of the books that I actually published. I'm going to drag that on here and you can see that it gives me my book cover from the book that I've previously published and I can scale it. Uh, I would probably have to take this title out but for now I'm going to leave it in there and I'm going to remove these placeholders that Apple put in here because my book cover is more or less complete. Let's just uh, make it a little bit smaller again to bring the whole title in. So there we go, that's the book cover already complete for my new iBook. Moving on to the actual text Obviously we've got an introduction text here which I can replace this with whatever text I want. Moving on to my first section, I've got the whole text to the book that I've previously written here in pages. So I'm going to copy this and then paste it into my iBook. And there we go. That is the pages pasted in to my iBook and I can scroll through these pages and flick through them and change the layout as I so wish. Obviously it will need some tweaking, it's not perfect, but the basis of the book is already there. I've also got controls within this uh, template designer to add pages and if I click on here I can add a new chapter, a new preface, a new section and that includes section text, copyright, dedication and forward or I can add one column, two column or three column pages including a blank one. I can also change my view here I can also change the orientation from landscape to portrait and I can create new text boxes, shapes, tables, charts and widgets. And to preview the publication I just need to connect my iPad to my Mac via the USB sync cable and then I will be able to actually preview this publication on the device. And then I can also publish and this will save it in an iTunes store package ready to actually publish using iTunes producer. I've got an inspector here so I can inspect things. I've got a media browser which I've already got open on the side here and this pulls in content from iPhoto and Photo Booth. I've also got control on colors with a color palette and also some font selection as well so I can change the fonts on my layout. The menus at the top, very intuitive. I can save what I've created as a template so that's really handy. If I create a template of my own I can save that out to use again and again. I've also got um, spelling, proofreading and writing tools 
So I've got a proofreader or proofread as you type and it all looks really well laid out and very usable. Obviously this is a very early look so I'm not going to be delving into the application in great detail but I'm just amazed at what they've actually put together here. The fact that I can drag and drop into placeholders and easily publish a textbook or another type of book to the iBook store is absolutely fantastic. So this was my very early look at iBooks Author and also bringing you that other news about the textbook store and, I, and iTunes U. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe to the Geek and Noise channel and I will see you in the next video.